Guys, deluded Guna. Now we know we've got a lot of prospects in our academy and 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 things like that, and it's going to be tough for even the best of highly rated prospects, Crowley, Zalalem, um, Maitland Niles, Nelson, we look, we look, insert whoever, Dragomir, insert whoever you want. One player I, I do feel that, despite bagging a hell of goals since he's come in in 2015, and he hasn't been getting a mention, Eddie Nketiah. We signed him from Chelsea. They didn't offer him a scholarship. He came here within a week. He signed the scholarship. Now, he might not have the individual flair, the individual quality, the stuff to get you out of your chair like some of the players, but what he is, is a real striker. It remains to be seen how far he can go, how good he can go, but if he carries on like this, strikers win games. He'll have a career at some level, if not at Arsenal. He's a good poacher and he's a good taker of chances. His finishing, without a doubt, is his strongest asset. He can improve his movement, but that's another strong asset. He works hard for the team and he, and he, his general play and his damn right technique is underrated as well because he scored a lot of decent goals. He scored, I've seen him far post, near post, volleys, solo effort. I enjoyed his hat-trick versus Leicester um, for the under-23s. I, I enjoyed his, um, his goals against PSG. I think this year he had 33 appearances, 24 goals. Last year, 24 goals in 28, I believe, or something like that. For the last two years he's been here, he's been doing what he's at, scoring them goals. And if he carries on, he'll probably get a chance in the Carling Cup or whatever. Like I said, finishing without a doubt is his greatest asset. And yeah, like there's not much more to, to say other than that. He's, he, he, he's, for the last two years, he's, he's scored hella goals. Twenty, he's, he's scored 20 plus goals for the last two years. Next year, you'd like to think he does the same when he tries to do that. will obviously be the goal to try and be the same or be close because he's had two good years. Maybe next year will be a bad year. I hope it's not, but that's just how football goes. And it, it would be good if it, it, in a way, it would be good if it happens to him now rather than when he's a pro because it's trial and tribulations of a, of, of a young pro and this is what's going to happen in the game. You're going to go hot and cold. But that just shows you someone that's got consistency, someone that is improving. And he's only 18. I mean, he, he's 18. And we know we've got Akpom and Mavididi and, and, and other players and it will be hard for any of these strikers to make it here. But if he doesn't make it here, he may have a career at another top level. I do think his physicality can improve. For, for He's not necessarily the biggest, or um, not talking height, stocky-wise. But and he and he has got decent hold up play and he doesn't get shrugged off the ball easily. But I just imagine if you were bigger, bigger and stronger and faster, you'd, you'd always be better and you've constantly got to improve. And if I'm real, if I'm real picky, I would say I don't really think he needs to, but maybe try and learn how to play another position. I know he's played on the flanks at times, but you make yourself more. Um, you can play more positions. You, not only do you open yourself up to more opportunities, possibly on the first team, you just make yourself a better player. He's at the age, he's 18, where playing in other positions can actually help someone. You look at a lot of centre mids when they typically come in, well, of recent years, if, if it's at Arsenal, typically they'll be put on the flanks because they have less time. Or if you look at Gerrard, he'll actually play at right back for a bit just to get into the side. And it gives you a new appreciation for the game and things like that. I've already spoken about that. He is someone I rate highly. I, I don't know if he's been called up called up to England youth sides, but he is someone that does should get a look in based on the goals he's scoring. He deserves a call up. He's 18. I'm pretty sure I didn't see him in the under-19 championship squad um, released. The only two players from us is just 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 De Silva and Chris Willock, if I remember rightly. So it's a bit criminal that he can score all of these goals and he wasn't included in the Toulon, Toulon tournament, Toulon tournament um, in France, despite taking a younger squad. And he hasn't been included in the under-19s. I mean, he's, I'm not saying just because he's Arsenal he should be there, but on form alone, surely he deserve a look in. But it's nothing. I think he is of Ghanaian descent as well. So in regards to England and, and Ghana, if he does reach that level, he may have a decision to make and he may very, very well pick um, Ghana or, or England. Who knows what he'll do? But he looks like a good player. I can't. I can see why Chelsea let him go because they have got a lot of top players. But I mean, surely he was worth a punt giving him a, a, a scholarship at least until he's 18. He signed a pro deal here. That's just another example of football's about opinions. He wasn't rated at Chelsea. He came to Arsenal. There's players that are not rated at Arsenal. Go elsewhere and have a good career and things of that nature. But guys, Deluda Guna, Eddie and Ketty are credit for the last two two seasons. You've been on fire. Hopefully you, you do it next year. Hopefully you get some sort of minutes. If you do do it, you get some sort of minutes in the first team. And hopefully you just damn right progress as a footballer. I like to see players do well, whether it's here or not. I don't. No one likes to see anyone do poorly. So yeah, guys, Deluda Guna, I'm signing out. Like I said, Eddie and Ketia, keep going on, keep going strong. 33 appearances, 24 goals last season. Very good. I'm out, guys. Comment if you've got any opinions.